Once you've loaded a tool into the ZBrush canvas, you'll quickly notice that when you click drag to draw out your model, you can continue to generate instances of the same tool. This is as a result of the edit button not being activated. You are essentially in 2.5D mode. This means you can use 3D tools, including these primitives, to generate interesting and complex illustrations incorporating the power of 3D. In some cases, you may have clicked this button by accident and find yourself drawing out multiple instances of the model you've been working with. There's a simple solution to remedy this, and it's the Control N function. By holding Control and clicking N, you can quickly clear the canvas of the instances you've drawn. To be sure, if you intended to draw multiple instances for the purposes of generating a 2D image, you probably don't want to use the Control N function. You'll notice the various brushes associated with the 2.5D mode just under the 3D tools in the tool palette located to the right of the ZBrush canvas. Above these brushes, you'll also notice a collection of 3D tools or primitives for use in ZBrush when either 2.5D or 3D modes are activated. Remember, you can make sculptural changes to your tool and continue to work in and out of 2.5 and 3D modes. It's important to note that your most recently drawn tool on the canvas is the active tool. This means once you've dropped the tool to canvas, it's no longer editable. Here, you see the effect of making sculptural changes to this dog and then stepping in and out of edit mode. This latest version is our active tool with the sculptural changes applied. Let's use Control N to clear the canvas. We are discussing 2.5D mode because the origins of ZBrush are rooted in the idea of depth in the Z space of your work area. This means that the pixel information you're observing is effectively taking on properties in the X, Y, and Z space of your computer. Let's use this brush as an example to illustrate the painterly quality of using the 2.5D mode. You can see that we're building up a surface like working with layers of paint by holding the Alt key you can affect a subtractive stroke, whereby you're reducing the volume of clay on your canvas. Now, we can't rotate this object because we're in 2.5D mode, but what we can add is more 3D objects to the scene. The shortcut key for entering and exiting 2.5D mode is the hotkey T. The pixels you're dealing with also have color, lighting, and material information associated with them. Let's arbitrarily pick the 3D gear to illustrate or demonstrate the illustrative capacity of using ZBrush in this way. You can see that we're drawing out some pixels in a painterly fashion and then adding this particular gear or model. We can effectively change colors, materials, and texture qualities of our painted strokes and shapes by incorporating the functionality of the 2.5D mode. Some really great pieces of artwork have been created using this method inside ZBrush. For now, it's important to note that you can continue to sculpt on your tool by coming in and out of edit mode. Remember, your most recently drawn out tool is your active tool. Thanks for watching Z Classroom. We'll see you next time.